Hey, it's John in front of 8479 India. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough because it's dark out, so I can't do a full walk around the house to show you the complete finished product. What you're looking at here is the garage that we converted into a bedroom. We dried it into where it's not going to get water intrusion. We installed siding around it and put the black shutters on it. You can't really see it, but these shutters are black too, and they look awesome. Installed some landscaping in the front, also hard to see. So I'll make another video next week and you'll really be able to see the outside. This is the interior living room. It's got a great dining area. We'll come check out the kitchen. Right before our resident moves in, we'll install the black refrigerator and black oven range. This place has got an awesome size kitchen, brand new cabinets. This house has never been lived in. Dishwasher. Let's check out the garage conversion. It's also doubling as a utility room. Right now you're looking at an unfinished floor, but the painters are actually coming back and we're going to paint all these gray. It's our attic access. Brand new water heater. And here's our bedroom. Once a garage. And we framed up a closet added sliding bypass doors. They're actually great doors and hold up really well with rental properties. And we installed a, an egress window should anybody need to get out in an emergency. And we also put smoke alarms on the inside and outsides, which is a code requirement and it's a great safety feature. This is our hall bathroom. Didn't really have to do a whole lot. We just went around and tested all the plumbing fixtures, made sure we didn't have any leaks, make sure everything was draining properly. Coming into our main hallway. This will be guest bedroom two. We installed new fans with lights in each bedroom. Each room has a closet with nice white wire shelving. <clears throat> this is guest room three. And this is the master bedroom, which is much bigger than the guest rooms, so it's great size. We install blinds throughout the house. And this is our master bathroom, again, virtually untouched. Didn't have to do much to it except for check the plumbing fixtures, add some light bulbs, make sure everything was draining properly, and that we had no leaks. So that concludes the walkthrough. I'm going to do one more next weekend since I ran out of daylight so you can see the outside. You'll see the new AC unit we put in. And the house just really pops curb, as in terms of curb appeal. So next week I'll do another video. So watch for that update.